everyone, and welcome back to episode 2 from the Empire's SMP. So by now, all of the episode 1s have gone out, and you've pretty much got the general gist of this server, right? Well, the general idea that we're living in empires, and building up our own empires, and trading, and going to war within those empires. However, I've noticed that most people on this server thus far are calling themselves king or queen and and although those things are super fun i i have a different plan my wish is for me to be a wizard yep that's right i'm gonna be a wizard i don't know what my mission will be as a wizard and if i have to call myself a queen i'll do it but i think being a wizard and having all the magical things could be so much fun amongst all of these empires of kings and queens. My first mission that I would like to accomplish as a new wizard is getting myself a familiar. And I, I don't think these bees are going to cut it. So I'm going to go out and see if I can find some fish and see if I can get myself a nice cat as a familiar. First things first, fish. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I have six fish, now all I have to do is find the perfect kitty that's gonna wanna come home with me. Oh, <gasps> there's one, right there. Okay, if I just stay still, think that'll come to me, kitty? Kitty, here kitty kitty. I know you wanna be my familiar. Cats in this game are so challenging. <gasps> yes, yes, come here, come here. I knew you'd want to be friends with me. Perfect. Oh, hello. Nautilus shell, rooted dirt. Oh, sad. I was hoping the wandering trader that shows up would sell some of the drip leaf. Sadly, not the case, kitty. All right, my adorable little buddy. This is our home. Now, all we need to be able to properly rule this empire is some more magical stuff. So, I... I need some enchanting gear, I think is what I'm saying. Um, I've been working on it though. I have a little bit of leather from the cow pens down below, right here, 19. And I also have a, l okay, I have one piece of sugar cane. So I have some work to do is what I'm saying, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Look at me go, everyone. I have an area set up for enchanting finally. Kitty, can you believe it? I'm gonna be an enchantress, I know, it's so cool. Look at this, enchanting table. You ready? Bam. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and it goes to level 30, which is exactly what I needed. Look at these enchants as well. Those look good. Okay, cool, cool. Now, I'd just like to get myself a little bit of lapis set up in this area, maybe in a little barrel, like right there, up in the uh, tree. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not actually level 30 yet. I need to fight a lot more monsters and get a proper XP area established. However, I can make myself quite a lot safer by going through and giving a level one enchant to all of my armor. Let's do it. Oh, feather falling one. Wait, that's kind of good. <laughs> Look, Pix got the idea. Wizard. I am. I'm a wizard, everyone. I'm a wizard. And now I have my shiny slightly purple armor and i'm very very happy that's not all though kitty i have much to do yet so the next thing that i need is a get rich quick scheme you see something that i sort of failed to explain about this server in the first episode is that well a oh, road honestly so peace and quiet i can't get away from you lot right doesn't appear to have any friends so that's fine as i was saying this server, unlike some other SMPs that are going on right now, doesn't actually have any sort of diamond economy. It doesn't have a shopping district. Which means that in order for players to interact with each other and actually get goods, we have to trade. Which means that I need to have something of value to trade. So say for example, Pix or Lizzie, who are online right now, decided to take the monopoly on maybe melons and pumpkins. If they make a giant melon and pumpkin farm, then they control the monopoly on melons and pumpkins. I could then make a melon and pumpkin farm and compete with them and go to war, 
or I could trade something that I have to offer with them to receive melons and pumpkins, creating a trade route. The only issue I can see with this is I have absolutely nothing of value to add to this server except for my shining personality. So this wizard needs to get some goods. And in order to do that, I'm going to go deep underground and see if I can't get myself some good resources. The only issue is, in order for me to really maximize my mining experience, I need either Silk Touch or Fortune. So I think it's time for me to do one of those trades we just talked about. Oh my gosh! Sausage, I see it! I see your house! Yes. Yay! <gasps> it's yes. so pretty! Look at you standing up there! Where are you? See me? No, where's my spyglass? Let me glass. get it out. You <laughs> should be coming from that direction! Are you- are you doing your wizardly tricks and hiding behind something? Nope. Do you have your cloak of invisibility on? No, I left that at home. How do you not see- Oh, come what? on! I was <laughs> what are you doing on top of the trees? I was looking on the bottom! Okay, fine, I see you now. Wizards Hi. only travel on treetops. Come on, Sausage, you should know this. I well, that's wood elves. I thought it was like woodland elves or something. Eh, they're similar species. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. Listen, Sausage! Yes. I've brought you something that I noticed that you do not have. Did oh, you, you a bed. This? I got a bed. Look. Yeah. Uh, no. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> okay. Great. That's it's a awesome. broken bed. It's I know. It's it's fine. You need to give it some kind of wizardly potion effect or something so I can sleep on it. It's broken. <laughs> okay. Listen. Listen. Yes. Look. Uh huh. I oh. I require from you access yes. to some villagers which i hear you have and in return i'm willing to trade with you okay okay I brought uh -huh. you this <gasps> do you know what this is gem you have no idea i've been waiting for some green wool for the longest time no 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 no, no. it's magic look it's moss oh have you ever wait, seen moss is... actually you know what i heard these rumors that in this update there's this new thing called Moz, and this new thing called Moz spreads, and this new thing that spreads also gives the greatest tree in the history yeah, of Minecraft. Yeah, look at it. Yes. Oh, I want this. Yes, I want this. Thank you so much, Gem. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh. Th this is a trade. This is oh. Oh, you're not just giving me gifts. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, don't worry. I, I, this is perfect. I'll take this too. I'll take that. I'll take this too. This is great. Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay, I'm so glad you're happy. Now, please introduce me to your villagers. Oh, uh, I, I, I misplaced my axe, hit this thing, because I want people in the comment section to scream at me for hitting that with my, my, my fork. Wait, that? Yeah, okay. Now, go, go on in. They're, they're nice and friendly. Hello. Oh. <laughs> they're so sweet looking. Look at them. Hello, everybody. They're... Yes. Okay, go on in. Go have? all the way in. All the way in. No, hey, with, uh, this feels go like, this feels, I, you know what? You first. You first. Fine. It's not a real prison. It's only a villager prison. There's no traps in here. I wouldn't trap my prized possessions. Right. No, you, a wizard can't be too careful. Yeah. You never know. But guess what? I have three villagers this time. I got a fortune three. I Whoa. got a mending, mending and a silk touch. Yes. And silk touch. Okay. I've brought some emeralds, but I do need some books. Oh, you know what? I'll, your, I'll be your book salesman. Take that right there. Don't let the villagers take it because they might steal it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Also, here's some emeralds too. Take that, because you know what? I love moss. Oh. Do you know what? Because you've been so generous, I also brought some extra yes. honeycomb <gasps> and some oh. moss. There you go. You can have all oh. that. Yes, thank you, Jim. You know what? I need this for candles. I don't have a, a single candle yet uh, placed in my spot. Oh my, that's a crime. That's a crime. I know. I'm going to cry a little bit, but thank you so much. But you know what? You're welcome to trade with all these guys, and they're not too expensive. It only took me 950 rerolls. Wow. Yeah, not, not, not a bargain. Too, that's, yep. Yep. My visit with Sausage was a great success, and I now have Silk Touch and Fortune to work with. I'm going to be using fortune on this pick first, I think. Just just seems like the best thing to do. I may even enchant it a little bit, um, like so, to get a little bit of efficiency on it. I feel like that's a smart thing to do, right? Mm, they're kind of the same enchant anyways. There we go. Okay, so I got on breaking three. That's actually perfect. That's the main thing that I wanted on this fortune pick. So now we go ahead, we add fortune. Of course, I do also want to have a pick to add my silk touch to. However, I don't have enough diamonds currently to make a second pick. So I'm gonna go underground right now and fortune those diamonds that we have and then come back up and make a silk touch pick. The reason that I want silk touch is because we have stuff like this. This 
is like the rarest or in the game. <laughs> Very important. And here we go, some diamonds. Look at all of those. <laughs> 15 diamonds right off the bat. That is what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, I'm gonna go back up now, make a second pickaxe, and this one will be the silk touch pick. And then we'll be able to go mining. I'm so excited. I'm gonna give this one the same treatment. Unfortunately, it did not get quite so lucky, but that's okay. I can re-enchant it a little bit later when we're a little bit more OP. For now, let's get some silk touch on this beautiful, beautiful pick. Ah, epic. Now, to spend a little bit of time underground with my two picks, getting some of this. Look at that! Oh, <laughs> it's so pretty! Is there no more? No more. Okay, just one little chunk. Okay. Okay, there are things above me. You are holding glow squid ink. How... How are you holding that? I'm going to be collecting all of the emerald just as ore because I heard there's somebody on this server who really wants emerald ore and they're online right now. Look at this. It's so common now. It's crazy. There's so much emerald. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Look at all this emerald. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to trade some of this. I don't personally need it, but somebody will. And look. <gasps> More Diamonds! We're not even that far from the last lot. These caves just seem oh so epic. And look at that. It's actually deep slate. That's so cool. I'm gonna just grab that. I'm gonna grab the ore of these just because I have enough diamonds at the moment for what I need. Okay, after a quick run up to the surface for a resupply, it's time to get back to the exploring. Look at this beautiful tough block. Oh, and also the gold. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I heard Fwip wants this block. Deep Slate Redstone Ore. Haha, <laughs> cool. I've managed to stumble into a mine shaft. A little spooked, but very excited nonetheless. Of course, we always light up as we go because of that. That's why we do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Relax. Nothing to see here. It's all good. Oh. Okay. I started condensing down my ores a little bit to hopefully help with things, but look at this. Our very first minecart. Oh, you're guarding it. No, thank you. <laughs> I need string as well for candles, so I'm happy with that. Okay, in this one, we have pumpkin and melon seeds. Not horrible, but we could definitely do better. Oh, I was not mentally prepared. <laughs> it's a zombie. Spawner. Oh, it's clearly there's a cave spider spawner as well. Wait, is there anything good? Name tag. Okay, I do think that I want some of these things to be fair. I just, I'm a little spooked. Okay, this is where the cave spider spawner is. Right there, okay. But that's not really what I wanted now, is it? Okay, that's not too bad though. Let's see another chest, which I'm very excited about. <gasps> Baby! Two babies, three babies, three babies, three babies. You know what I absolutely don't need? Three children. No thank you, not paying child support on that. Oh, it's so unfortunate, come here you child. Oh wait, they can't get around the rails. That's right, I can open this. <laughs> Weak children. Yeah, they get stuck. They don't know that they can walk on rails. That's actually so convenient. Come here you. Gosh, there's so many! Oh, you figured it out. You figured it out. Okay. I think, despite all the chaos, that actually worked pretty well. Okay, another chest. Another chance. Yes! Glowberries! This is why I've been hanging around in these mine shafts, and it's all worth it now. Glowberries. This is truly all I need. I'm even willing to leave iron behind for it. And with that, my friends, I think it's mission accomplished for this area down here. We now have a zombie dungeon, potentially, and also spiders. Not sure if I'm gonna end up wanting that. I feel like it's not the most efficient farms, but you know, it's an option. Now, it's time to get all of this, hopefully, sorted into the appropriate spots. Deep Slate Gold, oh gosh, okay. 
have a lot of emerald, which is great. I can deconstruct these now. Have some seeds that I should definitely plant. Some string. Oh, I can make candles now. Look at this. 24 candles. Perfect. And I need to figure out what these glow berries actually do and where they would look good. Hello. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you here? I'm thinking they definitely look good in areas around my portal. I just, I, I need to know how they actually grow. So I'm going to plant that one. Kind of see how that goes throughout the episode. My idea for these, I think, mostly involves custom treats. So I'm gonna leave them down here where I do my nature tree building. I know you can dye these candles, but I just absolutely love the idea of being able to just have these plain ones in spots. They're gonna fit so well with my like wizardy theme that I have going. Oh, I love them. I love them so much already. Hello, Flip. Hey, Jem, how you doing? Good to see Look at you. Look, you're all shiny over there. Look at you. You are shiny, too. You have blue armor on. I, I do. I got some nice shiny boots, and uh, oh that's about goodness. it. Goodness. Well, I'm shiny, but not nearly as impressive as you. I, I just have iron. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried. I, I got this nice little shiny thing over here, too. Uh, have you been over to see... Uh, I think we gotta liberate them here soon. Sausage is keeping some very, very valuable people trapped in a cage. Up I that agree. Right it's now. a little it's weird, just, isn't it? It is, it is a touch weird. I, I, I found a double skeleton spawner, and you want? I, I heard you're in the need of some experience and uh, potentially some bones and everything. Uh, would you be interested I, in helping oh, me set it up? Yes, yes, I would love to. I love bones, and 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 I can help you, and and then we can both benefit. It'll it'll be great. Also, sounds great. Cool. I brought you a gift. What is that? Like, oh my gosh. Thank you. Do you welcome. see how many I put into this dang thing over here? I, I do. Like, it's beautiful, I even... Flip. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's shiny and glowy and there's little red bits in it. And yeah. I love it. And well, I hope from, that that from helps. And then uh, from the lands of Farmer Flip over here. Watch that hole. I've fallen down it a few times, but here you go. From the lands of Farmer Flip. <gasps> uh, some food to help you along the way. Thank you. I needed that. Oh, I've been starving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Flip, you described this as close to both of us. Yeah, it's it's we're close. We're the closest people to it I, in the whole mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fair. It's not technically a lie, but it's technically the truth. The best kind of truth, right? Uh, right. <laughs> Just you know, my legs right. are getting tired. Just... Yeah, it's it's. You know what? How often do you find a double spawner inside of Minecraft? That's that's all I'm saying. It's pretty rare. It's pretty cool gonna be pretty nice that's fair enough fair enough almost there yep we're about uh halfway <laughs> we're halfway <laughs> are we there yet nope nope we're almost almost there almost there trust me it's just you see these trees right right over the trees i swear it's right there okay are we there yet uh do the abc's backwards and by the time we get there if you mess up you have to restart and then then we'll be there right you sure we're not there yet? Oh, no, no, we're almost there. It's See, th those trees right up there? I told you. Right at right at the next set of trees. Next set of trees. Yep. Okay. So next set of time. trees. Oh, yep. Yep. Totally. Discovered that wizards don't like long walks. Ah, that's that's why you learned how to fly and everything, right? Right. I'm working on See, that. See, now we're across the mountain and uh, the next we're set in, of trees. We're in... No, no. This is the set. The foot. Nope. Next set of trees. Next set of trees. I think it's a. Uh, what was yeah, wrong with this right, set of trees? Right, no, 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 it's right here. Right, it's this way, right here. Oh. See, told you we're right here. See. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's one, and then one. just follow right down here. Just you might hit your head a few times, but it's fine. It's Se fine. See several. Whoa. Look at this. They're look it up there. so close. I know. Would you make mossy cobble with moss now? Ah. Ooh. Those are the things that we need to know. <laughs> I don't is, know, to be honest. That is need to know information. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I just thought about it. Because oh, we used to make it with vines. And one, two, three, four. I guess if we... are going up here. What if we had oh, a yeah, tube in the... Right what here. if in the center was the tube going up and you can see them through tinted glass going up and then they drop down on a side? These are just going to be a bunch of clips of us going, uh... uh, uh yeah! <laughs> that is perfect, Flip! You perfect. nailed it! Okay. 
Here, uh, do you have inventory space to throw soul sand down at the bottom yeah. just so we can mark it? Have one. It went all the way down. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it down there for you. You're good to go. <laughs> he literally straight delivered it. So, what happened? I'm mathing. Three, <laughs> nine, five. One nine five. You said. Uh, one nine five for the Z. And then one three eight. <gasps> oh yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, I got the right tunnel. Oh. You did hey, it. Hey, do you know if you drop from that height, you end up on half a heart? <laughs> so if I punch you right now, in theory. Yeah, please don't. I don't. I didn't. <laughs> yep. No, that's okay. Now, yeah. <laughs> Coming down. Please help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's done. And this one's activated too. Oh, they don't. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? You okay? Oh no. Yep. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yep. Really fine glad. and dandy. Really glad about that. Sweet. Well, Perfect. Yep. It appears we have a working skeleton farm. I, I think we do. I still have yet to see one actually come up through this tube, but I think I've just been blind and missed them. But it, I saw it, one. It does, it definitely it does happens. do things. Well, everyone, it would seem that I am well on my way to becoming a perfect, amazing wizard. That bit with Flip was so much fun. And as you can see, I'm level 30 now. So I think it's time that I take some of my diamonds and just try and get a good enchant. I don't know if it'll work, but I gotta try, right? One of the most important things that I want is definitely my boots. There we go, got the advancement. And, oh, just unbreaking. I want feather falling, so I'm gonna wait. I'm also going to try a chest plate fire protection. Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't want that. Okay, those ones will wait until they're enchanted. But you know what? I will actually do Unbreaking 3. And we got efficiency. So this is now a really good work axe, actually, to replace my iron one. Lovely. Lovely. I also have decided that I, of course, need to name my amazing familiar. You're so adorable, you cute little gray kitty. You need a name. Let me get you a name. I'm going to name my familiar Gandalf. It's a gray cat. I like Lord of the Rings. I had to. Now, I need to explain this. I had a visitor. We should talk about the visitor. Let me explain. Whoa. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you up there. <laughs> what? Hello. What is this? You brought a llama? I've come to trade. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> I, this, I could tell. Le yeah. Let me, t let me tell you, this guy, incredible. Like, I, I walked the entire, you know, you know how far it is to my desert, right? It's like 1400 blocks out that way, somewhere, like that way. Yeah, somewhere. It's far. Uh, this guy's lead broke entirely once, and it was because I tried to get over a Mesa cliff that he was like, no, I'm not walking off that. Are you crazy? <laughs> So, this guy has more sense than I do. He is a what very a dependable llama. What a well-behaved llama. llama. Wow. I know. You said you had some stuff, and you said you had some stuff that you needed, and I think we can do a little exchange here. Yes, yes. How about, come up to my house. Come on. Let me invite you in. Let me, come on. Don't welcome to my house. Welcome, welcome. I figured I'd invite you all the way up to my cliff, you know? It's only... It's, Appropriate. We'll do this on the balcony. Absolutely. Oh, the view is spectacular as well. You can see over the entire thank forest. Thank you, thank you. So, as you can see, I'm building in a mountain biome. So I've been sure collecting up. a whole bunch of stuff that I heard that you like. Oh my goodness. You've not even got... You don't even have the regular one. You have the deep slate one. I now. do. Oh my goodness, man. I, I was just over at Whip's base trading for a little bit of this stuff, and I, honestly, it, it, I've got the taste for it again. I've got the, yeah, I, I really, I'm really looking forward to getting hold of some of that. So, in exchange, I have been to the nether, and I have some stuff that you needed for some magical supplies, I gather. Ooh, yes, yes. Nether wards. So, oh, I would yes. love some. Yes, I've got a little bit of that. I've got the stuff that you can grow it on as well. So uh, thank you, thank you. I brought you. enough soul sand that you can farm a little bit extra once it starts growing and everything. And I also hear you're in the market for copper. I am. You you've been acquiring a bunch of that, right? I do. Yeah, I, I've been acquiring quite a lot of it as it happens. So the way I sell copper, it's pre-oxidized, so it comes in block oh, form like so. It's so pretty. And if you want it to look like this, all you got to do is honeycomb it, and it's it's good that way forever. Even if it gets struck by lightning, it's not going to change. If you want the earlier stages of copper, you just got to take out an axe and right-click on it. Oh! And it, 
ages it back to a cool. fully formed regular copper block. And then it's just going to age naturally from there and you can wax it whenever you want. So if you want to apply the wax like halfway through the process of scraping off the tarnish, then you can do that too. That's amazing. Thank you so much for this knowledge. Okay, picks. Here you go. Here, here, <gasps> here's the trade. Now you listen. had some of the good stuff as well. Yes. You had some of the regular stuff. I have oh, lots incredible. of the regular stuff. And there's more where that came from below my base. So I'm oh. just saying I may need more of this copper stuff. And I can provide you with more of that shiny green ore. Does that sound Jen, good? This, this is how you stay on my good side. So as you can see, I am now stuck with a llama. Well, I wouldn't really call it stuck with. Um, I'm happy about this arrangement. What a gift from the Swamp Empire, friends from Solidarity. It's a cake! Oh, I'll be friends with you, Solidarity. That's so nice. Wait, let me put my cake inside. And bam, my cake. Oh, that was so nice. What a lovely gift. You had to walk all the way from the swamp to get here as well. That's a tough walk. We'll have to pay him back at some point. Let me know down in the comments below what I should gift Solidarity. To let him know that we're friends, of course. We, we don't need more enemies. Actually, you know what? Thinking about it, I don't think I have any enemies. But still, we, we don't need any. Now, this area, this area is an area I love. But in order to become a proper wizard, I figure we need a little bit of mystery. I'm going to carve out a little area right behind here. And this is going to be our secret area, okay? Super secret can't tell anybody look it's gonna be hard to see right like it's re you can't really tell it that's hollow unless you step into my portal and why would you step into my portal so i feel like this is gonna work right let me carve it out i'm working very hard very hard indeed on my brand new area llama you're gonna love it you're gonna love it you're probably never gonna go in it but you're gonna love it you ready you ready look I think it's like the perfect size so this is obviously the outside over here so we have to be careful kind of camouflage this, but I think we can do something with the side anyways, because this is technically my territory. I am, however, just going to kind of decorate a little bit with some of this deep slate around here. And I also wanted to dig this downwards a little bit so that we can have some water in here. I want to make it fairly lush. Okay, honestly, I'm very pleased with myself. I think this looks like a fantastic little secret layer. Now, I just need some water. Um... I think I have more water down here. All I'm gonna do, I think, is fill up this pond. And I also brought some of this deep slate stuff that I've been saving, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of it so that we get a little bit of a sparkle around the place, right? Just a slight little sparkle. Oh, yes. Okay, I like this. This is good. Now we need some greenery, some proper greenery, and some amethyst. Of course, we need amethyst. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have a ton of actual amethyst block. I actually don't have any amethyst block. So I'm gonna have to work on that. Thankfully, I was strip mining earlier and I actually stumbled upon this very epic amethyst. Let me see if I can find it. It was down, oh, yep, right here. Here we are. So here is a great place for me to actually be able to farm this amethyst, right? Because these buds are gonna stay here. This is right below my base, super easy to get to. And I can just pick these off and see you get the different sizes as well. So this is kind of cool for me. I think I can turn this into some sort of business strategy maybe. For now though, I do just need a couple pieces of the stuff that's not budding. Now we're just gonna bone meal this azalea. Bam, there we go, and get some of these leaves. Oh, another fun thing that I learned is that you can actually use this rooted dirt and bone meal it, and look at that. We can get roots, actual roots. Aren't these the coolest? And I'm pretty sure you can put these in a lot of places, like on solid blocks. So I'm gonna just get a couple, there we go. And let's see what we could do with this. Oh, do you know what? Same deal with glowberries, actually. I'm gonna just get a whole bunch of them. Perfect. This is my prized possession, amethyst. So let's get a couple of little areas. I know it's gonna show through, but I think I'll cover it up on the other side and make it so that it's okay. I'm just gonna have like a couple little patches of the purple. One more over here. Yeah, cause this will get really chaotic really fast, I think, if I'm not careful. So just in a couple of spots, you know, like a special little area for my crystals. Oh, I actually adore it. Now, there's only one more thing that this little cave needs, and that's a friend. 
I want an axolotl. I want one so bad. Gandalf, I'm going on an adventure, okay? I'm gonna bring back some more friends. We need axolotls. I actually have yet to do anything at all with axolotls, so I'm really glad that I've built this secret little magical cave. Now, here's the unfortunate bit. I live about as far inland as a person can get on this server. Like, there is not ocean for thousands and thousands of blocks. So, good news, we're going on a walk. It's technically bad news, but I'm, I'm choosing to look on the bright side. Oh, I see it, I see it, ocean. Yes, please. Okay, now we just need to look for signs of death and destruction and that should bring us straight to an axolotl. Don't mind me, just going for a swim. Hmm, these squids look far too peaceful for there to be a predator nearby. Oh, look at this, a big underwater ravine. This is gonna be prime. Yeah, there they are. Oh, they're so cute. Wait, I wasn't really prepared. I love these ones. They're the cyan ones, right? Where'd you go? They come back to me. Hello, hello. Can we be friends? Oh, you're you're killing. You're ki here. I got you. I got you. The cutest predator, and it is so adorable. Look at his little hands. <laughs> Okay, so I have a cyan one. I need one more of hopefully a different color variety. So that one's still a cyan one. I'm gonna dive deep. Oh, you're an axolotl? What color are you? What co- You're cyan. You're cyan. I already have you. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. The search continues. Now, eyes peeled for more underwater ravines. Gosh, these dolphins are really helpful. Look at them! <laughs> what? They're like pushing me! Wait, I never want this to end. This is the cutest thing I've ever done. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Wait, it's so adorable. Now, this is definitely a ravine, but there's an odd lack of death and destruction. Oh no, wait, no, there's death and destruction. That's fine. Okay, cool. Now Eyes adjust to the underwater life. Okay, we got some squid ink. What color are you? What color are you? What color are you? Pink! Yes! Yes, please. Thank you. Look at how cute! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, axolotls. Here is your brand new home. You're gonna love it. So this is Ruby. And this is Sapphire. Hello, little guys. Oh, do you like it in here? Do you like it? Do you like Ruby, Sapphire, you're so cute. Oh, I hope that they like it. I hope that this room is good for them. Yeah, they're swimming around. Okay, I think it's good. I think it's good. They are about the cutest little creatures I've ever seen though, truly. Well, everyone, it has been quite the episode, but I think that that is all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so, so much for tuning in. As of the time this video comes out, I'm officially a full-time YouTuber, which means I should be able to put out videos at least once a week, maybe every like 10 days or so, a little bit longer, if things are getting mega on this server. We'll kind of see how it goes and play it by ear, and I'll announce the schedule if I ever get a proper official one. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone!